I'm going to start a new project today and call it animated sprites. I'm going to see if I can make some sprites that are animated in different directions. At the top I have blocks, JavaScript, and assets. It's going to be easiest for me to go into assets when I make um, my sprite because I'll be able to copy it. So I'm going to start by making a new asset that is just an image. To keep it simple, I am going to make a yellow face that I'm going to animate going two different directions. So I'm going to start by making the eye and the mouth, and my sprite's going to start by facing to the right. All right, I'm going to name my image yellow guy, no spaces, and then save it and be done. So there's my yellow guy facing to the right. I'm gonna go ahead and click on it and duplicate it. And then I'm gonna ed edit the one I duplicated and I want to flip it. Oops. I'm gonna hit the triangle there so I can flip it. So now it's facing to the left. So I'm gonna rename it yellow guy left. And I also do want him to face up and down. So I'm gonna duplicate him again, edit, and I'm going to this time turn it. Now it's my yellow guy facing up. And let me duplicate this one and edit. And this time I'm going to turn it so he's facing down. Yellow guy down. Okay, so I have my yellow face facing to the right, to the left, up and down. So I'm going to now make it animated. So I'm going to go into my new assets and I'm going to start an animation. All right, I'm going to have to make my yellow guy again. I'm going to fill it in, give him an eye and a mouth. Okay, so over here I see the first picture of my animation. I'm going to duplicate this picture and then I'm going to change it slightly. So I'm going to go ahead and make the mouth open just a little bit. I'm going to make the mouth open that much. And then I'm going to block out part of this. So hopefully it looks like the mouth is opening. All right, maybe it is open just a little bit. I'm going to duplicate it and open the mouth a little bit more. So this time I'm going to draw some black lines from here. All right, and then I'm going to erase the ones under it. I want to see what this looks like, so if I click play over here at the top, it'll show me what it looks like. Well, it kind of looks silly, but I'm doing the best I can. All right, I'm going to close his mouth a little bit and then have it back to normal ish, normal ish. Fill in the rest of this with yellow. How's he looking? All right, this is what it looks like now. All right, I'm gonna call it done. So now this is my yellow guy moving. Okay, and I'm gonna say done. So now I still have my four faces, my yellow guy moving. I'm gonna duplicate my yellow guy moving. Oops, I think I duplicated the one, the wrong one. Duplicate the yellow guy moving. There it is. Now I want to edit this and I want to flip it. So now it's my yellow guy moving left. Okay, I'm going to duplicate this one again. Go in and edit and I'm going to turn it so it's facing up. Is it that one? There it is. So it's now my yellow guy moving up. And then I'm going to duplicate this one Go in and edit. 
I'm going to turn it one down. Oops, the wrong way. Now it's my yellow guy moving down. Okay, so in my assets, I have my yellow guy facing right, left, up, and down. This one is an extra one that I don't need. I have my yellow guy moving to the right, moving to the left, moving up, moving down. I think I have all the directions covered, so I'm ready to go back to my regular game code. So I'm going to start by making a background that's easier to see my guy on. So, oops, I want to set the color. Set background color, there it is. I'm going to give my yellow guy a background color of white so I can see it pretty easily. And then at the beginning, I'm going to tell it what my sprite is. I'm just going to start with my sprite being in my yellow guy facing right. I need to tell the game to move my sprite with buttons. All right, there we go. So now I'm, I'm going to have a little bit of fun. I'm going to go into controller and say on button A pressed, now I'm going to change it to say if my right button is being pressed. If my right button is being pressed, I want my sprite to be animated. Oops, go back. My computer's being glitchy and silly today. All right, I'm going to go into my gallery, or sorry, my assets, and I'm going to find my yellow guy that's moving down. There's my yellow guy moving right. So I'm going to put that in there. So if I push the right button, my yellow guy moves to the right. I'm going to duplicate this and change it to if my yellow guy is moving left. Then I have to go in here in my frames, go into my assets, and find the left moving one, which is this one. No, oh, I think I messed something up, though. Oh, I know what I did. I forgot to turn every guy. I forgot to flip every guy. So let me go flip every picture here to make sure he's always moving left. I forgot to do that. Okay, so now my yellow guy is moving left. I'm gonna right click and duplicate this. I'm gonna change it to if I'm pushing the up button. I'm gonna go into my assets again. There's my yellow guy moving up. And I forgot to spin everybody up. Which way is it? Not that way. Up, spin this one up, spin this one up. Okay, so now I'm done. So now that's my yellow guy moving up. And one more, I need to duplicate with my yellow guy moving down. And go back, go into my assets, find my yellow guy moving down, and you guessed it, I forgot to flip every one of these again. So let me turn all of my pictures so they are moving down. Okay, so now let me check this out, see if everything works. At the beginning, I just have my sprite sitting there. If I push the right button, he's animated to the right. If I push my left button, he's animated to the left. Up looks like it's working. Down looks like it's working. Nice. All right, that's how you animate your sprite. Um, you can keep it looped. So I'm going to turn my loops all on. That way, even if I'm not pushing the button, it's animated going in any of these directions. All right, let's check it out. Moving right, moving left, down, and up. 